Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia, and today we are doing a comparison between two fixed wide angle lenses. Both of these are manual lenses. The first is the Mikey Mike. This is the 12 millimeter F 2.8 and we are comparing that to the Rokinon 12 millimeter f 2.0. So let's start by taking a look at both of these lenses up close. Here are the two lenses next to each other and you can tell immediately that they are almost identical except for the color. Both of them have the same type of design and shape at the very end. Both of them have red rings on them. The focusing rings are about the same size on each one. Uh, the aperture rings are also very similar length. Everything is very close. Front lens element is larger on the Mikey lens. However, not by much around the back. Same story. Neither one has any electronic connections because they are manual only lenses. In real world use, I have found that Focusing is easier on the Rokinon. It's easier to pinpoint focus, I should say, with the Rokinon lens. And one annoying thing on the Mikey is that whenever you put this on your camera and take it off, you always inevitably end up spinning the aperture ring. Uh, that does not happen with the Rokinon because the aperture ring is not at the very end. So you have a little bit of room to where you can grip it and put it on your camera and take it off. Here is the Mikey lens on the A6000. And here is the Rokinon also on the A6000. Now this lens does come in black. So if you are not a fan of the silver, you can definitely get it in black. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at some sample images from both of these lenses. And I will let you know that I'm not a professional photographer. But here we go. All right, so this is the first image that we will look at. And because both of these lenses are manual lenses, the camera does not recognize the aperture settings, nor the focal distance, nor the model of the lens. So for the purposes of this comparison, I will be stating the aperture for each image. And I will keep all of the Rokinon images on the left, all of the Mikey images on the right just to make things easier for you guys. So this particular one was taken at f4 at 1 over 125 of a second ISO 100. So let's compare these two. Let's start with center sharpness. All right, so what do we have here? So off the bat, I think that the Mikey is sharper here. There is more definition in the tile. I can definitely confirm that. Let's take a look a little lower here. Less of a noticeable difference here. Interesting. Let's take a look at the upper edge here. All right, so here things are a little different. The Rokinon is definitely sharper. You can tell in the crispness of that edge. And there's some purple fringing here. So chromatic aberration is an issue. There's a little bit of it with the Mikey lens, but not as dramatic as that. Let's see, this side, same story. Rokinon is sharper. However, it also has more of the purple fringing. Let's take a look at the sign down here in the corner. Rokinon is sharper here. However, purple fringing less so. So it's kind of a, an interesting Comparison, Rokinon is sharper here with the brick. Center sharpness, interestingly, Mikey takes this particular image, but that might be due to a small variation in manual focusing. That's why it's so difficult to compare uh, two manual focus lenses. Next shot here, this is another picture of a building. This one was shot at f5.6, so both lenses are stopped down a little bit. Let's see if we can tell much of a difference. So Rokinon on the left is definitely sharper here with the brick and the sign. Up at the top, let's see. Look at the, looking at the windows, the Rokinon is definitely sharper. Over here, I would have to give it to the Rokinon as well. 
And just because I'm curious, let's look at the branches. So this is interesting. Uh, they're about the same, but the Rokinon has that nasty purple fringing, unfortunately, that shows up not too different, these two shots. If you are just looking at them side by side, kind of hard to tell a difference, but zooming in, you see a little bit of a difference. Next shot here, this is the same image. And the purpose of this is not necessarily to determine sharpness, although if you're curious, the Rokinon is sharper, but that's not the point of this. I wanted to see if there was a noticeable difference in barrel distortion. So it's hard to tell with a shot like this side to side, but if we do them one at a time and switch back and forth, maybe we can tell. And yeah, there is a difference. So this is the Rokinon, and here is the Mikey. Rokinon, Mikey, Rokinon, Mikey. You can tell by looking at this bottom line right here and the door. When I switch over to the Rokinon, it curves down quite a bit. On the Mikey, it is pretty flat. So the Rokinon, although sharper in this case, has more barrel distortion or more noticeable barrel distortion. So this next shot is of a brand new Acura NSX, which is pretty awesome looking, I think. It was just parked on the side of the road. Uh, this shot was done at f5.6, so a little bit stopped down on each lens. Let's take a look at center sharpness. Okay, so you guys can probably tell right away the Rokinon is significantly sharper in the reflections and in how crisp the lines are. Uh, if you look at the headlight, it's definitely sharper there. Let's look at the back of the car. Sharper. The car behind it is also sharper. Even the background is noticeably sharper. And both of these shots were taken at the exact same setting. So 1 30th of a second at ISO 100. And again, 5.6. Not sure why the Mikey is not performing in this shot. So the next shot is done at f2.8, 1 one hundredth of a second, ISO 100. Let's take a look at center sharpness. Rokinon definitely sharper here with the brick, and it's quite noticeable. Uh, looking at the trees and the leaves, again, Rokinon is significantly sharper than the Mikey. What's a, what else is interesting about this image is that although both of them are shot at f2.8, the Mikey image looks a little bit darker to me, and I don't know why that is. It should look exactly the same, but once you zoom in, you can tell that this is significantly or noticeably brighter than the same image from the Mikey. So this next shot, I wanted to take a look at Boca. So this one was shot at the same camera settings here, one over 40 of a second, ISO 100, both at 12 millimeters. The Rokinon I did at f2, and the Mikey I did at f2.8. So the Rokinon image is definitely brighter, and it has a creamy bokeh, as you can tell. So if we zoom in on these flowers here, the Rokinon image is a little bit sharper not by much, but it is sharper. And the background is more blurred out, which is what you want if you are using a wide angle lens for portraits, which I do not recommend. So that's just a difference of uh, how much light you get. So take a look at that. So that's the Rokinon and the Mikey, Rokinon, Mikey, Rokinon, Mikey. The next image is done also at f2.8. This is the side of a building. What's interesting about this one is, again, that the Rokinon looks so much brighter than the Mikey at the same f-stop, which doesn't make any sense to me. So this is 1 over 25, ISO 100. If we're looking at sharpness, it's about the same. However, if I had to give it to one, it would be the Rokinon because the tree is definitely sharper here. Um, but the takeaway from this one is just how much brighter it is. The next image here is my wife. She is studying outside. Um, and both of these shots were done at f2.8. 
So again, this in this case, you can tell that the Rokinon is brighter, lets in more light. The Mikey is a little bit darker. Let's take a look at sharpness on the face just for fun. Rokinon definitely takes it here. And Boca is about the same for both. And the last picture here is just of the front of Nordstrom. Uh, both of these shots were done at 1 over 1 60th, ISO 400. The Rokinon is shot at f2 and the Mikey at f2.8. And the purpose of this is again to show you how much more light you are getting with an f2 lens versus an f2.8. Even though it's a half stop, it is noticeably brighter here. Now you could definitely take the Mikey image and brighten it in post or put a couple of filters on it and it will look almost identical. But this is just comparing what is coming out straight from the camera without any adjustments uh, whatsoever. So Rokinon is definitely nicer if you are working in low light situations. So that is it for the sample images. If I had to keep one of these lenses, it would definitely be the Rokinon lens. Even though it costs more, I think that it is money well spent. It is a nicely built lens. I found it easier to focus. I also found that the f2.0 aperture allows for some better clarity, especially in nighttime photography. So if you are looking for a fixed 12 millimeter manual lens, this is the one to go for. And I will post links to both of these down below on Amazon. You can compare prices. This one is probably about $100 to $100, $150, I should say, cheaper than the Rokinon on any given day, but prices fluctuate on Amazon. I will say that the Mikey is not a bad lens. It's just a little bit more difficult to find focus with, and it is a little bit slower. So at nighttime, you notice that it lets in less light. But for the price, you really can't complain with this lens. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. If you have any questions or comments, if you have either one of these lenses, post them down below in the comments section and stay tuned for future videos. I'm planning on doing a comparison between this lens and my newly acquired 10 to 18 Sony because I think that would be pretty interesting to see. Thank you guys and have a nice day. Bye-bye.